Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests, who has traveled to another country where the language is foreign to you? Well, I only know one language, English, and perhaps more specifically, American. You all know that similarly spoken in the U.S. is not understood in the actual land of England. So let's uh, not go cattywampus now with our English language. We want to speak correctly. But let's go over something that I find very enduring in my heart, and that's travel. Over the past 50 years, I have visited many non-English speaking countries, Italy, Poland, Sweden, Finland, Costa Rica, Japan, Greece. I do not speak any of the languages, but I know a few simple words such as talk, grazie, jenkuya, erogato. Thank you. Even without understanding the words, I still enjoy talking to people. Let me explain. I have found that the greatest communication tool to understanding someone in a non-English speaking country is watching. Yes, watching. I have found that the, being able to watch, I can see eye movements, hand gestures, facial expressions, and these expressions may not be exactly what they are saying in their language, but it gives me an idea of what's going on. I learned a little bit about their speech and listening by watching through my ears or listening through my eyes is what I want to say. But I find this is also entertaining and insightful. It's entertaining. Now, let me give you a story in Athens. When I was walking through an open fresh produce piazza with people bartering and buying things, buying fruit and such. And I remember one scene where somebody wanted to buy this melon and they had this melon and say, this is the melon, this is why I perceive them the same. This is the melon I want to buy. And then seller says, nah, that's not the good one. Here's a bigger one and a better one, probably more expensive. No, I want this one. He says, no, you, you, and you want to buy from me because if you go over there, they're not going to sell you a good melon. You need, Okay, I don't know what they were really saying in Greek, but I could envision <laughs> by watching and listening to the most, watching the motions as listening with my eyes. <clears throat> now, another situation perhaps is walking through the streets of Rome. Uh, you're walking down the quaint streets uh, with the sidewalk cafes, and you can hear people talking as they're drinking their coffee, having their pastry, and you don't know what they're saying, but you can tell by the glee in their eyes and the way they're moving their arms. They're happy. So you're listening with your eyes. And maybe one of the stories about Polish women uh, after, a, in this case, a particular outdoor concert. And one you could tell really liked it because she was playing the violin as if she really loved the music. And another one said, no, no, I didn't like that music at all. I don't speak Polish but I think I can understand what they were saying. Now, sometimes these are insightful because when you hear people talk with excitement, even though you can't see what they're saying, it's you're listening, you're hearing with your eyes. And it's kind of the same thing throughout the whole world. You listen and you can understand. It's a human trait. You want to find out what's happening. Now, words are only one part of communication. The body language I've already demonstrated, it's part of, of the conversation. That's what makes the point. People in various countries are talkative with their arms. I mentioned Italy, and I also mentioned in Greece, they're that way. In Japan, they're more sedate. They're stoic almost. And they walk, they very calmly talk to you and, Speech itself is melodic and it sounds great. And um, once in a while, they'll have some sort of gesture, but the gestures still come through. They give you a point. They say, I think I know what they're talking about. But in the Japanese culture, always a bow. Never do you ever meet somebody that you don't at least get a bow. So it's really interesting that the actions speak louder than words. Italian. Polish, 
Japanese, the languages are all Greek to me, except for the smiles. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, next time you hear the sounds of people talking and don't understand a word they say, but you really do hear, you really do understand the joy, the happiness, the peace, the anger, the disagreement, the laughter, the fun, all these things come through, you see with your ears. Do you, <clears throat> you do not have to be a linguist to understand these conversations. No matter where you are, Sweden, Japan, Greece, relax. Listen with your eyes. Listen to a different language. You will enjoy the experience. Even if you have to say to yourself, it's all Greek to me. Adam Torfman.